Refresh your style by using what you have already and adding some budget-friendly pieces to create a farmhouse style coffee station. If you're into farmhouse style or decor, I want to share with you how you can create some budget-friendly ideas and some untraditional storage solutions that you may already have. So you guys have seen my coffee station go from one extreme to another and it will always be an ongoing process for me because I just love decorating for each season and believe it or not this is the one room everyone piles in so that's another reason why I'm always refreshing the look. So if you don't have a coffee station and you really want one, you really can't create one, you most definitely can do this you guys even if your space is small and all you need is a small wall to do it. Now, the wall that you see my coffee station on is very small, it's less than 42 inches long, but it has a nice impact because I'm using up all of the vertical space. Let me show you how you can create this look on a budget. Home Depot has various sizes of floating shelving that can be a little pricey, but if you want that farmhouse or rustic look, all you need is scrap wood. Home Depot has reduced wood that you can purchase for 70% off and they will even cut it for you. Just remember to give them your dimensions for under $25. That's what I have done here. I have used scrap wood and I stained it to mount the brackets to the wall. I used drywall anchors to support the weight. I wanted a little change so I added this message board I got a few years ago from Home Goods for only $8.99 on clearance. It was the perfect size for this wall. It had a chalkboard. I even got little gold pineapple push pins to leave messages and the hooks that are meant for car keys. I'm using them to hang my Ray Dunn coffee mugs on. But if you cannot find one like this, you can use a chalkboard and mount the hooks on a rail that you can get from Lowe's and mount it underneath the chalkboard to display your cute mugs. Option number two, you can purchase World Market's modular kitchen wall storage for all of your kitchen or bathroom needs. They have different bar lengths to accommodate your items. You can place or hang almost anything on them. Spices, cooking utensils, a chalkboard, and even a plate rack like I have done here. And there's still room left on the shelf for bowls. On to some farmhouse styling. I did this by implementing a few new pieces and a quick DIY to complete the look. The Tiffany Blue Keurig I got over the summer from Target, but they also come in other colors. This coffee canister is from Home Goods, but it was only $5.99. But I'm really on the hunt for the Ray Dunn coffee canister to go with my mugs. They are super hard to find, you guys. This mini ladder was a quick DIY I made out of craft wood. I simply cut the wood into five pieces and glued them together to resemble a ladder, of course, and placed a farm animal towel from Target on it. I've had my coffee station for about three years and it's from raw stores. I added a small change to the baskets by adding these number plates I got from Joann's. I love the distressed look that have been around for years. I glued them to the existing chalkboard sign to update the look. It really adds that farmhouse rustic look to the coffee station. Small changes were made in the drawers. I'm using drawer divider to keep my sweeteners and creamers for visitors, but I also have creamer in the fridge. I also have coffee filters that are tucked away here in the back for my 12 cup coffee maker that we use for larger crowds. And I have a honey pot that's also tucked away in the back. The organizer you see on the left is actually a desk organizer where I keep my tea bag holder and some detox tea. I keep it away from the other regular teas. And using untraditional storage is great for small drawers. The other drawer is where I keep my K-Cups for my Keurig. I got these gold measuring spoons from Target for $5 over the summer. I get tons of questions about the blue storage containers. They are actually used for fridge organization and I got them from Home Goods. I got them on clearance for $3 and I bought all they had and I used them everywhere and all the time. Inside the baskets are my to-go mugs. Once again, I'm using untraditional storage like this five compartment vanity organizer I got from Target. It couldn't be more perfect for to-go mugs. I'm using this because every time we reach for a mug, they would all fall over and using this keeps the mugs in place and there's even a spot for the lids and the sleeves.
The basket below that is where I keep our smoothie blenders and everything is there and everyone knows where it is. And the basket is my tea box and tea and cocoa canisters I've had for years. And below that, the little extras like sweeteners, instant coffee, cocoa packets, and raw honey. I'm using another untraditional storage organizer. Here's a tip, especially if you're short on storage space. Take items out of its original packaging and store them into something like a utensil organizer to store smaller items. It not only has double duty use, but some have handles for easy transporting. And when it's not in transport, you can still tuck it away. So I hope you all have been inspired to refresh your style and maybe give some of these ideas a world to use on your coffee station. I also want to say thank you to everyone on my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for all of the birthday wishes. My birthday was this past Saturday and you guys really know how to make a girl feel good. So I thank you all so much for the birthday wishes and I want to thank you all for watching.